Okay. I am live and I can actually see it, which is amazing. Okay, fantastic. All right, guys. Hello. Let me share this video. Hey V, oh yay, I can see comments and everything. That is amazing. All right, cool. So let me just, here we go. Okay, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I, I am right here. This is my third attempt and I'm going to get, I'm going to get used to this. Okay. It's a new whole program thingy. So, but I think it's, uh, I think it's working. I think I'm live. I just want to make sure that I could see everybody's comments. Um, okay. Awesome. I'm seeing comments, which is great. I don't know why it doesn't show all the comments. Okay. Yay. I see V. Hi V. Hello, hello. It's so weird, it's like a little bit finicky, but. All right, awesome. Okay, so sorry about that. All right, here I am. I'm making this adorable little um, tulip gift card holder. All right, so um, this is a file in my VIP Crafters Club. Um, for March so my March my members got this in March and it is so stinking adorable um, I love this because it is not only a you know a card that somebody can open up pull out of an envelope but it is 3d it is fun and then when they open it up like this you can put a little gift card inside of it isn't that cute so, um, all right, so let's go ahead and assemble this. I know it can be a little bit intimidating when you have all these pieces um, to just figure out how to put it all together. Um, but I, I have a lot of cards that are sort of this similar style. So if you were in my uh, VIP Crafters Club, Club last year, I did a really cute, um, uh, a barbecue grill for Father's Day, which I will, I'll do a live on that in a couple months as we approach Father's Day. And then I have a really cute crayon box as well. So, um, they are assembled in a very similar, um, method there. So, um, ah, oh, thanks. How's weather in Tennessee, V? Um, it's good to see you too. Yay. Oh, thanks. Okay, awesome. So I have cut all, out all my pieces and I have scored these. And I just want to remind you guys that are opening the file, make sure that you change the score lines. Um, they will, when you open them up, your Cricut or your Silhouette software is going to think that you want to cut on those lines. They're going to be a different color than everything else. So you need to go in and you need to change all of those score lines um, to score, set them to score. And you're going to do this for all of them. And then you'll attach. I didn't want to do that in today's live because I just wanted to keep it to the assembly part. But if you guys want me to create a separate tutorial, uh, for how to change, um, how to change the score lines, um, on Cricut or Silhouette, just let me know. Let me know what, um, what you use, whether you're a Cricut user or Silhouette user, and I will try to uh, do that. So I have basically, I've cut everything out. Like I said, I did cut out all of these tulip pieces, but then I just counted them a little while ago and I'm missing like three of them. So I'm going to have to improv improvise with that um, but the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, I'm also going to assemble this cute little envelope. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just start gluing these little tulip pieces on onto these, um, onto my little green pieces here. And you can use whatever your favorite kind of glue is. So I'm using this tape roller, which is not rolling. Oh, I think this one's finished. Is this one working? Okay, I had one day when I was crafting and every single tape roller that I was using was finished. All right, and that's no fun when that happens. <laughs> okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just gluing the little tulips on. Um, the little tulip heads on. I'm just adding those. Hey Mona, no, this is not in Design Space. This is, you can import it into Design Space, but this is a file that is available to my VIP Crafters Club members for the month of March. And so, um, yeah, they would download it and you can open it up in Cricut Design Space. There is a link. Um, if you go to um, betterlifeblog.com slash tulip card, I think. You can check that out there. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna improvise because I'm gonna come up short on these tulip pieces. I'm probably going to steal some from this, from this one that's already finished. You can do two, three colors, four colors. You could do all, all of them as one color tulip. That would probably make things a lot easier. Last week you were in the 80s. Oh my goodness. And I know, same, same here. It's just like all over the place. Weather is just all over the place. Last week we had like a crazy thunderstorm and then it was like 80 degrees the next day or the or the other way around I think. Yesterday was very windy. I'm here in California. So today is Friday. I hope everybody's doing well. Safe, healthy. So what you'll notice about this card is that all of these uh, green pieces, they're different, uh, different heights. So it starts from tall and then it keeps getting a little bit shorter. I'm almost out of the... the uh, the tulip heads, so I'm gonna have to steal some from the other one. I love my little tape yeah. roller. This is an Ad Tech Crafters tape. If you have a favorite glue, let me know what it is in the comments. So I'm always on the lookout for new types of glue. I have lots of different kinds of glue, but I always I always come back to this Ad Tech Crafters tape. This is what it looks like. All right. So I'm on my last one. I'm going to do some gardening here and I'm going to have to steal some flowers from this one. I'll, I'll take them from the middle so they're not quite as noticeable. Okay, guys. Because I don't know what happened. They just disappeared. Oh, I hate to do this. I think I'll probably just take it from the top so that maybe later on 
I can uh, I can compensate and put some flower heads back on. All right, this is probably good here. Okay, now I'll put this one away. we go all right a couple more pieces and then I'm gonna start to show you guys how to actually put this all together see you can't even tell can you tell that it came from another card okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of organize these from tallest to shortest so let's see one is definitely the tallest and then nope this one is the tallest then this one then I think we got this one oh no they're the exact same order of colors okay what it should be alternating hold on should be alternating be three two three two three okay so I, I got a little bit like comfortable with the color order and I just completely did purple on all the left sides so I'm gonna switch that up okay that looks better then this then these okay very good. All right, so they are all sort of in order. Um, and if you really, if if you really are gonna be like me and like look at all of the colors and you really want to distribute them, then maybe just add more than three colors in there. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take my little pot pieces. Okay, so you should have four pieces. I can grab. This one, okay. So the the piece that goes in the front is this, and it's got these little slits here where the um, the gift card holder is going to go. And then what you want to do is you want to fold on all of the lines. And actually, this one I think I changed the design slightly because I realized that there was a little mistake in this, so I, I might need to. Uh, cut this I forget I cut these like two weeks ago at the end of February yeah I do need to cut this along here but don't worry you guys won't have to do this I, I updated the design Okay. All right, so this piece is going to fold over like that. It's gonna look like a little pot, like one of these. And uh, I actually didn't have a color that was like quite like this. It was either super orange or super brown. So I just decided to go for a gold color. I didn't really have a terracotta color. All right, so this one is the back piece and it's got two tabs. 
This one also has two tabs. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to, hang on a second. Let me focus on just this so you can see. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece. These are the side pieces, okay? I'm gonna glue these onto the back. So that's gonna be the first thing. Okay, and this is basically going to uh, be the outside of the card. All right, and then this is the, like I said, this is the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach the front to the left wall. So this tab is going to attach here. Okay, so now you have the back piece, you have the two side pieces, and then you have the front piece attached to the left side piece. And it's eventually going to go like this, but not yet. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tallest piece, my backmost piece, and I'm going to apply some glue to this tab right here. And I've, like I said, I've creased these all beforehand. So I'm going to apply some glue just like this. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to attach this, the left side over here, the left tab, to the left wall. And I'm going to start from the back and I will just work my way to the front only on the left side for now. And I wanna align all of the bottom edges together. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the next piece. I'm going to put some glue on the tab. Okay, and then I'm going to apply it in front of the last one that I did. And so now we have two pieces that look just like that. And like I said, I'm going from the backmost piece to the from the tallest to the shortest. There we go. And actually, I could probably be spacing these out just a little bit more. That doesn't really make a, a huge difference. pieces it almost looks like a book they're all attached to the left wall okay 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold these back over and I'm going to apply some glue to these pieces. I'm actually going to get a little post-it note so that I can just put glue on each section without, without getting it on the, the section underneath it, okay? So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm just gonna move that up. I, I'm pretty sure I do this slightly different every single time I show how to do this, but ultimately what you wanna do is you wanna get these tabs glued to this wall. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just putting glue on these tabs on the right side. Okay, great. All right, so these are all ready to go. One more, one more place I'm going to put glue is right over here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put it right here on this tab. Okay, so now watch what happens. I'm gonna take these all, put them back over on the right side. going to fold this over as well and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this left side and I'm going to just press it down and then I'm also going to take this tab and I'm going to press this one down as well and so now ta -da! just want to kind of fold it over a couple of times just to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Cool, huh? Very cool. So there it is. So it's all done. Um, but what, one more thing that I want to do, well, let me show you how the gift card goes inside. So now we can put a cute little gift card right inside. And like I said, on the outside, you can you can put your own message. You can handwrite something. You can put a vinyl message. This could be a birthday card. This could be a Mother's Day card in May. Um, so it could just be a just because kind of card, and it's really cute. Now, I'm also going to show you how to assemble this um, envelope here. So we've got this piece goes on the bottom and then we've got our two side pieces. I'm just going to fold all of the tabs. Again, this also has some score lines. So you want to make sure that if you are when you open up this file that you change any score lines so that they aren't cutting, that they you change them to actually score. And then attach them. Are these extra? I think I cut some extra pieces. Okay, I don't think I need that one. Okay. So here's the outside piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some glue over here on this bottom piece right here. And that's gonna go along the bottom edge. Okay, 
then I'm going to open that up. I'm going to put these left and right pieces on. wrong piece. I grabbed the wrong piece. Okay. This is the one I want. And that is going to go over here. Okay. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this liner piece and I'm just going to generously apply glue to this piece. why my glue finishes fast <laughs> all right and then uh, it's just a little bit smaller than than my envelope here and I actually put this down let me just create a secondary crease right there okay go that works and then now I'm going to fold these two side pieces first and then I'm going to apply some glue where this is going to come up right over here so there it is and then this perfectly fits inside you can give it to a friend and make them smile. Hang on. There we go. How cute is that? Ta-da! So there it is. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun making this fun little tulip card. Um, thank you guys for your patience. I know that I started and stopped this live a couple of times, but this one I think is live on my page. Uh, I know actually because I've been chatting with you guys. So yeah, so I hope you guys had fun making this. You can check it out on the website. Um, betterlifeblog.com slash tulip card um, and if you're not a member of VIP Crafters Club VIP Crafters Club members get this for you know included this is one of the March files for 2022 um, and we made a really fun project actually we had our live yesterday we made our spring topiaries which was really fun oh and how cute is this my son um, picked some little dandelions for me and he said mom you need to put them in water so I got a little shot glass and I put them in water and here they are <laughs> hopefully I won't have little aphids crawling all over my desk but it's so sweet um, I always think to myself like because my initial reaction is like oh I don't want any aphids crawling on my desk but then I think oh there's gonna be a day when he's not gonna be picking dandelions for me anymore so I'm gonna enjoy them while I can um, and yeah I hope you guys are having a great day I hope you guys have a fun weekend ahead of you um, um, and hope you guys are all doing well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you guys soon bye